Welcome back to Rippy, Iowa, where the more things change, the more they stay the same. There was no pitcher's mound. All the dirt you see out here was all uh, covered with weeds. The change started three years ago with the restoration of Walt Anderson Field, led by former coach Mel Merkin and culminating in the revived Rippy Ruckus Town Ball Tournament. Up! And that is what stayed the same. This was year four of the Rippy Ruckus. It doesn't get any better than this as for small town America. Grown adults playing a kid's game in a place that was given a second chance. It feels like an old, old fashioned historic field, you know? It's a little bit different than the city because in the city everything's just, you know, you got your turf fields and there's no character to the fields at all. You look around, it's a farm field, it's a baseball field, and a couple old homes. This is, to me, this is, this is what heaven is. And more people in the baseball community are taking notice, including one man who specializes in the art of the catch. 2018, my daughters uh, kind of encouraged and challenged me to play catch for a year. Ethan Bryan wrote a book about that experience. 500 different people, different people. Uh, 10 states, 12,000 miles. Uh, and it was incredible. Brian is the poster child for the love of the game. He drove 400 miles to suit up as an honorary member of the Rippy Demons. This is my kind of place. It's middle of nowhere. It's beautiful baseball field. It's, it's guys that are literally getting together just to have fun. We are desperate for, for opportunities to experience joy and connection. And, and that's what this is. This is a chance to go to go play. The success of that revived Rippy Ruckus raised the rent for this place. There was no reason that this field had to be a one trick pony. The games here could be opened up to other levels. So park leaders did. Hey, North on three, one, two, three, North. Heck, old men, why don't, why, why can't we have high school games there? People were just saying, let's do it. Let's, I would like to play there. So I just started contacting just grassroots stuff. Three years later, the first one was in uh, May of 2022. Walt Anderson Field has hosted more than a dozen high school games, including the 2024 season finale Tuesday between Ankeny Christian and Roland Story. Now batting for the Roland Story Norseman. And while this game day might look and sound <laughs> normal, the setting gives it a feel that's anything but. Kind of feel the dreams almost ish just without corn. It just feels like Iowa baseball, you know, like you just picture like you just think of, and you just think of baseball in Iowa. This is exactly what you think. Uh, just looking out as what you can see, you don't really see a lot of uh, high school baseball fields with that much like uniqueness. Kind of when we go to away games, it's not like much of a big deal. We're all just on our phones or whatever, just pulling up. But I mean, today was kind of different. We're all looking around, looking for the field, see, seeing it first and just it looks really well maintained. And yeah, it looks really cool. The more things change, the more they stay the same. <laughs> Walt Anderson Field is hosting more games than ever, <laughs> but familiar faces remain, like Mel Merkin and Merle Jackson, whose continued labor <laughs> makes all this possible. Uh, Mel takes a lot of pride in this place, and he treats it like a little, like his little baby. So we, we're, we're all trying to just help him keep his wishes. Rippy is a baseball town. It's been true for more than 100 years, and it's not stopping now, no matter what age steps up to the plate. If anybody wants to come, we're more than welcome. <laughs> Schedule us. In Rippy, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports.